Hey guys, Dr. Brown here, and tonight we have a third grade problem taken from an international math contest. So let's get after it, okay? I don't recall ever working anything like this when I was in the third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, tenth grade, <laughs> okay? So let's see what we can do with it, okay? All right, we have C8 divided by A, it equals 1B. Now, don't let your hair catch on fire. Let's just walk through the process of dividing and see what happens. Okay. We see that C divided by A is 1. 1 times A is A. C minus A equals 2. Okay, that's our first thing we need to remember. Now, if we had numbers here, then we would say, okay, bring the 8 down. Oh, it's a D. Well, D must equal 8. Okay, all right, now then, B times A would equal this number. Well, this number is 2D. Well, D is 8. So now we have a few items that we know C minus A equals 2. C minus A equals 2. Okay, what else do we know? D equals 8. A times B, A times B equals 2D, but that equals 28. Okay. Now the key, the one key to solving this is you have to understand, like if I had uh, 48 divided by 12, 12, 24, 36, 48. So I have four. Every one of these represents just a, a digit from zero to nine. Every one of these is a digit from zero to nine. Now its place has different value. Like this is 40, this is eight. Okay, so that's why it's 48, because it's in the tens position. It's the same concept here. These numbers are taken from the domain of zero through nine. That's our set that we can pull a number from. Now, having said that, A times B equals 28. What are the factors of 28? Well, 1 times 28. 2 times, 2 times 14. 4 times 7. Mm, that's it. Okay. Now then, can I use 28 for A? No. Can I use 28 for B? No, it's two digits. I can't, well I could put two digits here, but I can't put two digits there. So, why don't we go with four times seven? So if I were to say B is uh, seven, let's say, A is four. A is 4, and D is 8. Why don't I rewrite that, okay? Okay, we would have 1, 7, C, 8, 4. Okay, 1 times 4 is 4. C minus 4 was 2. Bring down the 8. 7 times 4 is 28. 28 minus 28 is 0. Okay, well, what is C? We could solve this equation for C. We currently have C minus A equals 2. If I add A to both sides, minus a plus a, those cancel. C equals, 
2 plus A or A plus 2. We'll just flip it around. C equals A plus 2. Well, we said A was 7. This is A right here. I'm sorry, A was 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So now we would have 68. Okay, let's just see if that works. 1 times 4 is 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. Bring down the 8. Okay, 7 times 4 is 28. 28 minus 28 is 0. Okay, so that works out just fine. So we have A is 4, B is 7, C was 6, and D was 8. Well, couldn't we swap 7 and 4? What if we did that? What would happen? If this were 4 and this is 7? Well, C still equals C equals A plus 2. Well, if A is 7, C is now 9. 7 plus 2 equals 9. So C would equal 9. Now then, let's see what we have. Okay, 1 times 7 is 7. Hey, it's going to work out. 9 minus 7 is 2. Bring down the 8. 4 times 7 is 28. 28 minus 28 is 0. So, it could be that A is 7, B is 4, C is 9, and D is still 8. So those are two possible solutions to that problem. I would encourage you, when you look at a problem like that, do exactly what we just did. Walk through it, just in this case, one time A is A, C minus A is 2. So now we have some information that's good for us. It may give us some insight, which it did. Then we would do what? Normally, we bring down the 8, this number here. Oh, well, 8 equal D. So we could immediately begin solving. Then we kept going. B times A equals 2D, which is 28. And then we factored. I know you guys have studied the least common multiple and the greatest common factor. So there's other ways to get to this 28 and its factors other than the way I just did it. Many ways to solve this. Okay, this problem is an example of just trying to grow your mind by understanding logically how to work through a problem that's multi-steps to solve. Okay, why are we doing this? Together we're trying to build a better tomorrow and do that through math. That's all for this time. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.